Greetings folks. Previously we've created a component that has an output property connected to whatever you select in the gallery and a header component that updates the text depending on what screen you're on. So we're going to go ahead and combine those two with this component. So first enable your components from the apps settings and we're creating our new component change the height to 180 first we will set the text custom property just name it text and this is the header text that'll be an input with a data type of text and now for our button that we're going to select in the gallery that will be an output that will output a number so we've gone ahead and created our label and a back arrow. Also inserted a horizontal gallery with a custom data source of just one, two, three, four. Inserting a button into the gallery and changing the template size. So it's simply the width of the gallery divided by four. And then we'll zero out the template padding. Just adjust these buttons a little bit. And we'll go ahead and round these buttons off a little bit more. Change the radius of top left to button two dot height. And then set the radius of top right to uh, button to dot radius top left. Okay, now we need to set the output condition. So what is going to be outputted is the value of what is selected in gallery one. We'll go ahead and just change the, the fill here for the component. Okay. okay, so now we have the fill set for the buttons, depending on whether or not it's selected. And we'll go ahead and create a vertical gallery on our first screen. This will be the browse screen. Set this to a SharePoint list called expenses. And now we will create a edit screen and insert a form. Set this data source to the expenses SharePoint list and the item of this data source is whatever is selected in gallery two. So now that is populated. Go ahead and insert our header component. And now we're going to go ahead and just move this form up a little bit. Snap that to the header. We're going to go into the advanced tab of each of these data cards and we will change the visibility of these individual data cards to header component underscore one when the button selected is equal to one then the first data card will appear and we'll just go ahead and change that to, always, to the different data cards changing the value to two three and four and we don't need this attachments data card so we'll delete that and now depending on which of these buttons we have selected a different data card will appear 
giving us a effect of having different tabs. So now we can just go ahead and duplicate the edit screen. And we'll go ahead and change the form to a new form instead of an edit form and change the name of the screen to create new. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate the screen again. And this time we will change the form to a default mode of view. And then just go ahead and rename this screen uh, our detail screen. Yeah, and everything still displays properly. And then we would go ahead and throw a button on each of these screens in order to submit the forms. We're going to set a collection on App Start to give each of these screens a different name. And that way, the text in the header will update dynamically depending on which screen we're on. So we're going to go ahead and set in the component a lookup function. We'll do this in the component rather than doing it on every screen individually. And it's going to look up what active screen we're on and return the name that we set up in the collection. And then we set this text to header component.text. The text updates on every screen. So we've combined the two previous components from a header and then also outputting a value from a gallery to affect the visibility of a data source.